YouTube, it's Amy Hall here from twoglassyladies.ca and Lampwork by Amy, made for you lampwork on Etsy. Today I'm going to talk to you about Alcock's Chapel Window. This is a frit blend that's kind of a mix of mostly transparent colors. There's a couple of opaque ones in there too, I think. And so once again, I have quite the bouquet of beads to show you. And I will show you all of these individually as per usual. And just for fun, here's my fat cat in the window. Look at her fat butt. She thinks she's gorgeous. goddess bead using um, Valcox Chapel Window and Kugler K100 Leaded Clear. I just wanted to show it in video form as well as the photos so you can see the way that the light just, yeah. <laughs> Another really amazing fruit blend. She has a base clef on her because I'm going to give this to my cello teacher as an end of year gift. Ephetrae 266 Opal Yellow. So this is definitely, this is like the darkest batch of Opal Yellow that I've had. Um, and this is with Falcox Chapel Window, Chapel Window Fred. And um, fine silver wire. Okay, and here we have um, Vetrophon number 955, Seashell Swirl Special Odd with Valcox Chapel Window. So, yeah, again, um, all of these glasses, apart from the Kugler K100 that I use for clear for encasing, um, they are 104 COE glasses, and the Frit Blends are 96 COE. But I generally do not have compatibility problems, and when I do, I let you know about them. Um, but yeah, this blend, I haven't had any I think it's about, there's kind of like, I think it's like a 5% rule or a 10% rule. You can mix those COEs so long as you don't use too much frit on your bead. This is another base color that I love. This is um, a Fetre number 680 green tea. It's from their Cool Colors line. And it's a chapel window frit on green tea. So, I mean, you're probably getting really bored of, like I'm using the same bases. I tend to use the same, for the most part, the same bases with different frits. And what's so cool is that the different frit blends, like they just completely give you so much range um, with even just a small, a small choice of bases to work with. Although I guess it's not that small, but um, anyway, yeah, there's just, there's so much, it brings so much versatility to your color palette. I really like these ones. Another standard go-to is just plain old white as a base. This is a Fetri 204 pastel white with Alcox Chapel window. Again, this is a 104 COE base glass with the frit. Got no compatibility problems. quite a lot. This is a Fetre 219 Copper Green, which is like my favorite. Everyone knows by now. Um, this is with Chapel Window. I'm so happy with how these came out. I also used fine silver wire on these beads. Um, yeah, just like some really cool color reactions and 
like just like a whole rainbow of colors really in these beads um so I'm not gonna say pretty this time in the last video I think I said pretty like 50 times but they are pretty glasses for Fritz is a Fetre 038 which is pale aqua. The reason I really like this, I mean it's almost like putting the Fred on clear but it gives it just a little bit, just a little bit more. Um, I just like the, the blue tinge that it gives to it I guess. Um, and again this is Chapel Window Frit from Valcox. Used um, a Fetre to oh geez, 224, um, which is light sky blue. Now, light sky blue is sort of a similar color to 232, which is the pastel turquoise that I usually use as a frit base, but it's just slightly softer and reacts a little bit less. So, um, yeah, I just decided to do some beads with that one just to, just to mix it up a little bit. Apple window actually did look really nice on 232 as well. It looks quite similar to this, so it's not, not a huge difference in this case. Here's a couple of beads that I did on the, the 232. Um, yeah, you can see it's a little bit darker. Um, maybe a little bit more, see the way it, the frit kind of gets like a rim around it, like a little outline. So depending on what effect you're going for, I really like that effect, but um, show them side by side here. So yeah, I mean, there's a bit of that same rimming effect on, on the sky blue, but it's just a little bit lighter and clearer. So I don't know, I guess I think that that's my, my choice for this one. Here is Valcox Chapel Window. Um, this is with Kugler K100 Leaded Clear. And it's been swirled into the center of the beads and speckled on the surface. I'm gonna bring these into the light a little bit. You can really see the colors. Chapel window in Kugler K100. This time it's just swirled in the center of the glass and then encased. It's a really nice light coming in today so I'm using it to show just like how much this it almost sparkles. A very cool blend. Any compatibility issues. I found this fit really easy to work with. Um, it was really versatile, like it worked in many, many different ways with different glasses. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here they are. <laughs> I think this is the last one of the new blends. There's a few more. Um, there's a couple more that Val just sent me for testing that I don't know if they're going to make it to the main store or not, but I believe the chapel window is one of the ones that's going to make it to their like longer term store or whatever. Anyways, another fantastic frit, whole lot of beads, try not to be such a dork, can't always help it. So here's a few of the other ones that I have to test, um, and some of these are just like the fine grind of... Um, I think that they're just single colors, which these can be really good for adding color to things. Um, yeah, I'm not sure actually which of these. I think that a lot of these are just the single colors. And then there's a couple more blends. We got Violet Peacock, Tawny White, I think 
taffy and, and iron oxide. So that's what we have to look forward to. I might not do quite as much extensive testing on these, but we'll see. 